What's up, Raw Nation? What's up, Raw Beauties? It's your girl, Rena Mo, and I'm back at it with another video. I just look so ashy on here, but I really don't look like that um, in the mirror. <laughs> Bad bitch. And, oh. Okay, so y'all, I'm about to, I'm getting ready to go. Okay, y'all, so I'm getting ready to go look at some apartments because I have to move in like three days, y'all, and I just, <sighs> I've been going through a lot, so. I just, my head just not in the game. But yeah, I want to look at some apartments right now. And then I'm starting this new job today. So I'm going to go train. And I'm going to take y'all with me because I need to get back on my YouTuber shit. I got so many like videos and stuff that I just haven't put out. And it's because, it's a lot of reasons actually. It's a lot of reasons actually like. I just want to really get in tune with like my business content and really just get back to talking to y'all. You know, just really get on my shit. So, yeah. But I'm about to go get in the car and then I'm going to talk to y'all when I get to the apartments. Okay, so I'm about to pull up at the apartment complex that um, I'm going to be moving into. I know I'm gonna move here, so I'm not even gonna say like that I want to. I know like I'm gonna move here. I like it, and it's literally like four minutes from my house. So it's perfect, and I like the way that it looks. Um, I'm not gonna tell y'all what it's called, of course, because I'm gonna be moving here. I don't want nobody to know where I live. Um, but yeah, I have a lot to catch y'all up on. Like, I really feel something about me that's different. And I think I'm trying, oh, when you just, when you try to be serious, I think that I'm trying to like understand the struggle. Oh Lord, oh God. I think that like, I'm trying to understand it and I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Um, and I think that I'm trying to accept it, but it's kind of hard for me because I literally like don't know exactly what it is. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a thing. And with that being said, I think I passed the apartments. Hold on y'all, let me um, Google this real quick. Okay, yeah, I was talking to y'all about me, but like, I was just saying, oh, my my wig not going down, y'all. Y'all know the vibes. Um, I just feel very different. Like, I do. I feel really different. I feel like I just, I don't know. I just feel very different. And um, I just feel a lot, of, a lot about me changing. Um... The place I'm at now, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. It looks ghetto as fuck. This shit looks so ghetto. Like, the building is nice, but it just looks ghetto. Like, it just looks ghetto as hell. And I'm just not for it. I'm not for it. I'm not for it. I'm not for it. It looks ghetto. Um, but it's fine. I'm just gonna keep an open mind and we'll 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 figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Okay, this is literally how my place looks now. Like the appliances and stuff. Yeah. So the appliances basically just like the black thing, the appliances, the brushes, the carpet, all that other stuff. Okay, I like it. It has a pantry.
Oh, the room is big. Okay. I like this. You would get an extra closet right You said I would get what? Extra closet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you also get an extra closet outside the patio school. Oh, yeah. Okay, this one was throwing me off because I think I called you and I was like. Oh, I want to call you. Mm hmm. I have a two-bedroom now, and that was my thing. Oh. Like, I I just need to dial down a little bit. Size, yeah. I like it. It's smaller, but I kind of like it. See, this is a good space for me to yeah. put, like, my business stuff. Is it just for yourself? Mm hmm Yeah, and this is good for you. Especially because you're Oops. Oh, the light is on. They're actually missing. Okay. So, is this one... Just like sitting here, are they gonna replace this with the silver one? This one black. I know, most likely it's gonna stay like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, most likely gonna stay like that. This one's already leased. Oh yeah, you did say that. We're looking at other units. I'm showing you they're leased. Dang, um, y'all selling out fast. Like, um, we're looking at the same ones we gave This is not bad. I like it. When I first started living here, I actually stayed in one place. I love it. It's cute. <laughs> this is not bad. Not wrong. Yeah. This is these are cute. I'm gonna open this. Oh, yeah, right now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really care for this mirror right here. But... Some of the units have it, some of them don't. If they don't have it, you can put your TV there. This is Okay. I've integrated a big test control on this map, and they're lost to move in. Yeah, I like that. This thing can also be great for your business as well. Yeah. You have your room yeah, that's what that's really what it was. Like I didn't want because if I would just sit up everything right here and then I have bar stools I can put it right here. So I wouldn't really need too much. Yeah, this is literally like I'm not tripping off the appliances because this is literally how the one I stay in now looks. Yeah. That's slow windows, cute.
I don't know. I feel like this is my least favorite. <laughs> and I don't know why, but I really feel like it is. Your least favorite. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of, I don't know. The downstairs is not bad to me, but I don't know. I feel like the way it's set up, it looks a little weird. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I don't know if it's just me, but like looking at it, I think would make it bigger is just the stop the stairs. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Somebody following me? Oh. I would appreciate it. This is cute. Okay, let me look at this. And it's only $35 every month. That's not bad. I okay. like this. You have two closets and they're spacious. Yeah. Because I need it. I have a, I have a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like this. And it would be literally just like this one. It's exactly the same now on our units. I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. what they're doing renovation on the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So the cabinets look different. <laughs> They haven't done the upgrade on this one yet, but they're going to start doing this. I like this. Else, All of them come with grand countertops, the appliances. And now, like I said, they're doing upgrades on the cabinets as well. Okay. Okay, y'all. So I'm back home. Um, please just ignore the wig. It's just. But, okay, so I'm back home. And I don't like this lighting right here. It's just so. Just doesn't compliment me. <sighs> okay, so I'm back home and the apartment that remember I was like, oh, I'm moving, I'm moving. Didn't you like it? Online, yes, I like that. And I like the ones that they have that was renovated, but they didn't have no ones that was renovated for me to look at or for me to move into. So with that being said, I looked at those, as y'all can see on there. I liked them, but it wasn't really, they were a little too small for me. Like, I don't mind downsizing to save money, but y'all, they were just too small. Like, no. So the one that I looked at, um, the last one that I looked at, yeah, I love that one. Like, I'm gonna apply there. Like, that one I'm gonna apply there. And they're giving like, um, some money off your first month to rent. And it don't come with a washer and dryer, but to rent the washer and dryer from them is $35 a month, including your rent. That's that's nothing. I'll pay that. So it boosts my stuff up to like one, like, a, I don't know. But yeah, so yeah, I really liked that last place. It was 800 square feet and it was moderately updated. I like that. So yeah, I'm doing that one. But right now I'm making me some... Um, curry potatoes and white rice and I'm going to get ready and go to this new job that I'm starting so I'm just taking y'all on my new journeys my new endeavors it's a new year I'm getting a new place new jobs everything new get a new car soon like everything new so yeah I'm happy um I hope everything work out I'm checking with y'all after I eat Okay, y'all, so I know it's hella days later. I just, I've been doing bad, but I still showed y'all some content. It's dark as fuck, but I'm here with Jordan, and I'm here with Zion. Big not the little one. Oh, hell! Oh, oh, and I'm a little motherfucking tipsy, and we playing hot seat, Zion's idea. So I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna put the camera on me, and then whoever goes next, the camera gonna be on them. So they can answer you these sure questions. You sure you want to blog these questions? Oh, baby. I'm probably. My, you should, I'm not quite surprised. sure. <laughs> yeah. You got to mute the music. I am. Hold on. I didn't mute the 
bitch, subscribe to my channel. You're going to be like, oh, this bitch nasty. I do public interviews. And I ask them, <laughs> how you like it, bitch? From the front, from the back, from the side, from the side. It's up. Okay. Should we cut that light on? The one in your kitchen, not this one. All right. The one in your kitchen. Yeah, yeah. I look, like I look like I'm dead too, but no, it's you look cool. Perfect. It's cool. All right, I'm ready. That's because you have. Never mind. All right. Ooh, what do I know about Rena? Oh, you have natural beauty. Don't fucking do that shit on my motherfucking channel. We're about I'm positivity no and good vibes. Zion, don't dip your head in here. That's all I'm gonna say because I peep. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay. Hmm. What's the name? Should of we game? make it easier Wait, and y'all go? Y'all go back and forth. Again. What's the name of the game? And what's like y'all ask me two questions each, back and forth. So we can make it faster. That way you don't have to think too much. You get what I'm saying? I just want the viewers to know what's, yeah. the, what's the, okay, name so of the game. Okay, so the high seat the game, basically, you either time it or you don't. Basically, you sit in the high seat and whoever asks you a series of questions back to back to back. If you don't answer, you drink. If you answer, then you tell the fucking truth. The point is it's like truth to drink, drink kind of, but you yeah. got to drink. But it's rapid, like rapid questions. I ain't gonna be rapid, but yeah, yeah. I want them to be rapid. Throw me off my fucking game. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. First question is, what's your worst sex experience? Little My dick. Worst? You gotta uh, go more into detail. Okay, the nigga had a little dick. I liked him, but his dick was so fucking little. No. He was sitting in from the back, and I didn't feel shit. And I asked him, like, is it in here? Yeah, I'm hitting you from the back. I couldn't tell. It was awful. So you didn't or see my you ex didn't see when, before? I did, but it didn't look that little to me. Like, I don't know. Maybe I was drunk. I don't know. But, and then my ex accidentally hit my ass. So, bitch, I hid in the bathroom for like 30 minutes. I was in pain. Valid. So I, I, yeah, you go. I say that my worst sex experience was probably when I was in Austin. Okay, that's too, not too much. Not too much. <laughs> the last right here. My worst sex experience was probably when I was in Austin, Texas. This nigga was trying to fuck on me. He was from Houston, but going back and forth, whatever. Nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, his ass was trying to fuck me so hard. He had a small, smaller than what I'm used to, but do that. Okay. <laughs> Fix your fucking eyes. It was smaller than what I was used to, so this nigga was trying to fuck me harder, and I did not like that. I don't like rough, small dick sex, Ugh. so that shit pissed me the fuck off, you What'd were. you tell him? I didn't tell him shit. I kind of played it out, but whatever. Next. Right? Okay. I asked the question? Yep. Okay. Fast, fam. Fast. Fast, 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 fast. Mm. That's why I said it should be one person in the hot seat and y'all go back and forth asking questions. That's how the game go. Yeah, I think it's easier that way. It's one person in the hot seat. Yeah, and then y'all ask me questions back to back so it's faster. Oh, it's one person? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start it over. We fucked it up. All right, so now you ask me a question, then you ask me a question. Okay. I gotta think. But you got time to think. Um, okay. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, we have to go ahead. What is... Oh, shit. Because I'm not finna drink. She said, I'm not finna drink. Okay, man. Jordan, you asked me a question so Zion can think. Mm -hmm. I love What Chicago nigga you fucked that got the best dick? <laughs> I'm at the drink. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. Next. <laughs> Can't say my names. Okay. Um, since I already know that, I'm gonna say, what is your most embarrassing story when you get hit? I threw up. <laughs> oh, bitch! <laughs> elaborate. It was my boyfriend though. I was giving him head, okay, and I didn't boyfriend. want to get here. I was drunk. I told him I didn't want to do it because I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I can give head, but like. It's not for me. Like, it's just not for me. So, I was doing my thing. He was spilling it. And then I threw up. It was already a towel right there. I wiped that shit off, wiped the dick, and kept going. He didn't even notice. Wow, okay. Type shit. Jordan, you're next. Ask me a question. Uh, 
She's saying I can't figure it out. I you bitches is slow. I need him. Okay, yeah, somebody else getting a hot seat. And who is your first love? And yeah, why would they your first love? His name was Franklin, and because that was my first love. Simple. No, no. What made Franklin. him stand out from the rest? He he was my first everything. Okay. I loved him for it, for real. We was best friends. Mm -hmm. Not my best friend that died, but my ex. I mean, my first love. His name is Franklin as well. A broke nigga or a rich nigga? He was like 16. He was broke as I'm asking. That's a separate question. Which nigga you gonna choose? A, a broke nigga or a rich, a rich nigga? nigga? Why? Because he's rich. There's no I other reason? Wanna no. You would, even if y'all was in love. Rich nigga. Head over I heels. Rich nigga. What if he was rich and then ended up broke? That's different. Okay, so you're willing to stand by it, somebody. Yeah, because I know he can be rich again. He's rich before he can know, you know how to do it again. That's fair. That's most definitely fair. All Next. right, my question is, last question. What is the craziest thing you've ever done? Hi, to Shane. a nigga? Yeah, like, you know what I'm trying to say, though? Like, what's the cra like, most crazy girlfriend type shit? Or yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. When, my, when I found out my ex cheated on me, I burned all his shit. Okay. Like, his sister bought him something that was really sentimental, and I set that bitch on fire and gave it to him as a gift. The, the burn? Yeah. yeah, I gave him the charcoal, like Santa Claus, when the kids are bad. Yeah, <laughs> gave him coals. <laughs> Okay. All right. Next. Like crazy. she says, the big Zion, not the little one. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, love it. I hope you get your questions together. Nope, I don't have oh, well, you need to. Um, <laughs> my first question, because I'm going to give them to you back to back. What's your. What's the craziest thing you ever stole? Craziest thing I've ever stole? Yeah, like, what's like, why the fuck would you steal that? But you stole it anyway. I guess I give a story of whenever I got caught. Still Go ahead. Okay, so I was at Target, like a mess, still mm -hmm. in that Target. <laughs> and we was having a lingerie party, a little spring break lingerie party back mm -hmm. in high school. Wasn't supposed to be, you know, mm -hmm. having parties anyways, going to parties. Um, and I think I saw some, a lingerie set and some other shit. It's and even broke. Oh, it was. <laughs> back in high school. You know how that goes. It's cool, it's cool. Yeah, you know. High school, broke. Anyways. Okay, Jordan, what's your next question? Mm. Have you ever cheated on somebody and how did you cheat? Nope, I never cheated. Drink. Why? Because you never cheated. So yeah, you drink. Have to treat. Now y'all making no rules to the game. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm going to drink to my own game. Okay, my next question is, who got, name the nigga that has the littlest dick you ever fucked. Drink. <laughs> I say, um, ah! I'm gonna tag you too. <laughs> Ver, y'all know him. No, yeah. bitch, what's his? Is it Virgil? Is that his real name? Virgilio. Oh, he's Hispanic. Mm, he's like a little mixed little boy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Jordan. Um, mm, have you ever had a threesome with somebody? Just go ahead, yeah. So that's a yes. <laughs> name. We may never know. Name both the people you had a threesome with. <laughs> She's going down. <laughs> Guess I'm finishing. You're gonna need some more because I'm not done. One more, Jordan. And then you're in a hot seat, so come on. I don't have nothing in the hot seat. Okay. Um, Okay, so how old was you when you first ate coochie? I've never eaten coochie. Drink. I'm gonna drink to that. <laughs> I'll let her pass. <laughs> Jordan's up next. Let's look. I look tired and sick. I'm stressed. Zion, go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm -hmm. They stressing me out, y'all. I don't even know what the question is. I'll go first. Name the person that had the biggest dick you ever fucked. CJ. Oh, she a No questions asked. He had it. Oh, okay, CJ. We see. This is mine. It could be ours. It's not. <laughs> this is yours. What is your biggest kink? Mm. Your biggest what? Kink. Mmm. What are you doing? Um. I'll drink to that. 
Oh. Yeah, let me just, because I like okay. a lot of shit. Okay, okay. What's the craziest thing a nigga ever said to you while y'all was fucking? Mm. <laughs> I've never heard nothing. I honestly have never heard nothing crazy. Drink. So I'll drink. Mm. It's been pretty realistic. So I like it. What's next? So she's the kinky one. What can I say? <laughs> mm, okay. Don't drink willingly. I like to drink, y'all. So mm, that's, that's it. What's the next question? What's the craziest place you ever had sex? You gotta answer. I would never say I've never had sex in crazy. Wildest, places. wildest. Never been wild. Honestly, it it's pretty much everybody average. So, you know. um, that's why I got it. Um, name the weirdest porn you ever watched. Is is there a cool one? Weirdest. Mm -hmm. I put some new ones on there. Uh, name weird. the weirdest porn you ever watched that you would never like want to tell nobody you watched it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did look at some gay porn because I wanted to see what do these niggas be doing to each other. Gay porn, but honestly, they be lit. I'm not gonna lie. I was, but I don't. I'm not gonna you lie. Know, I was curious. It's to interesting see sometimes. What's going on. I got gay friends myself, so I've watched gay porn. Wait a minute. What you mean, men or women? Men. Yeah, that's I what I'm talking about. I just wanted to know, like, how do they be penetrating each other? That's it. But do it be lit to you or no? No. It was lit to me the one I watched. I didn't see no. the lit. Lord. Okay. But I don't recommend it. I just like the dicks. Any other questions? No, you're done. Wonderful. Oh. It was nice talking to y'all. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. I look like a I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. Mm. What's the most embarrassing sex story you ever had? I already answered that one. Really? Whenever you get paid, you do it? Yeah. Okay. And that's the most embarrassing. No Come on, Zion. And if I start saying names, then it's going to turn different. So, come on. How many dicks have you sucked? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can't recall. <laughs> mm. All right. That was a good one. I like that. That was a good one. Come on. I like some more. Some more. Okay, um, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> that was a good one. Mm. How old was you when you lost your virginity? Seventeen. What was you doing? Where was y'all at? I was sitting like this and I was blindfolded. I'm scared. You was blindfolded. Oh, he was a little kinky. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. losing the virginity, damn. <laughs> yeah, I, was I was straight as fuck, like. Damn. I was yeah. so scared. I have a story on my YouTube channel about when I lost my virginity. Chicago niggas or Houston niggas? Mm, I'm from Chicago. So that's who you're so Chicago right? niggas. Oh, you saying like which one I prefer? Which one, yeah. Chicago, for sure. These Houston niggas be gay as fuck. No offense to the gays, but they like y'all, so come out here. They <laughs> be <laughs> fruity in the booty. Um, what's the most? Hey, oh, no. Go ahead, go ahead. What's the most embarrassing thing you ever did drunk? Jordan, I'm finna throw this fucking. <laughs> Cause, I, I Cause this bitch was with me, <laughs> and I'm finna throw this fucking cup at you. What did you do? <laughs> 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 the I'm gonna drink. <laughs> But you didn't see it, neither did I, so did it really happen? Mm, so mm. that was that first time we had went out. Ah! 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 Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying okay, to. Okay, Zion, go ahead. You go. Because this bitch talked too fucking much. Tell the story of whenever you got caught in a lie. Oh, God. Like, what was the craziest thing you ever did? Mm. Like, what was the craziest Okay, so I had two boyfriends. All oh, the story is on my YouTube channel already, but I had two boyfriends. You know, the time is like. That time I got caught up, watch that one, because no, I had two no. niggas, and they were fine as fuck, and they both got me caught. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't, so they ain't, like they <laughs> they ain't stop fucking with me, though. You see the channel, you just got to tell the story. 
They ain't stop fucking with me though. It's a long time, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? They ain't stop fucking with bitch. Do you modern day have two niggas that you talking to? Do you? I don't know. You don't know or you, you do know? I drank, so I'm not sure. Oh, okay. And which of them two niggas would you be fucking right now? Neither one. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a virgin. You a virgin for real? Celibate. That's the question. Reborn. It's a new year, new me. <laughs> new pussy. <laughs> that shit ain't new way. New, new me, new pussy, new ass, new everything. Mm. New body. Ooh. So, mm. I can't wait to put you in the mother I see. I don't want to be in a, I'm done, I'm drunk. So, okay, this will be the last one on the channel. You got to get her. Ooh. That's you get for lying, bitch. God don't motherfucking like ugly. It burned me before. Like it burned you because you born to hell. Mm -hmm. You get her, not me. That's right, Zion. Okay, Zion, get in the hot seat. Yep. I'm done. Wonderful. <clears throat> Back again, bitches. Mm -hmm. Oh, now she calling y'all, bitch. Y'all finna have to spam her shit and treat her ass. <laughs> okay, Zion. Bitches ain't a bad thing. So, <laughs> talk your shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, uh, okay. But I'm coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Have you name about name the nigga you fake the orgasm for. <laughs> um, drink, bitch. <laughs> Where's her liquor? Give her some liquor. I don't have no liquor, so. Uh, Jordan, can you get her a little sip? We certainly can. I'll be honest, anyways. Hmm. Uh, his name was some motherfucking. Um, I know he gonna see this because this is gonna go the fuck up. Cause I'm gonna make sure God bless me that way. So I want him to see it. So I'm going to put him in the hashtag. He's going What's to be hash? in the it's hashtag. So His name is that. Trey. Oh, ironic name. Um, Jordan, you got, <laughs> you got, um, why is she over here giving us the liquor like she not finna drink? I think we should just get another one. It's 11.36. We still got time. I have a whole bottle of liquor at home, so we can go to my house and get it. Jordan, like, you bitches don't understand. I gotta work in the morning. Tell them, fuck you. Knock the shades, y'all. Okay, so we need you to name the first girl you ever let eat your coochie. <laughs> name her. What's her name? Tell us. <laughs> I ain't never let a bitch eat my coochie. This bitch says she had a threesome. Quit lying. Drink that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Y'all was eating some type of coochie. Because if a nigga eating it from the back and one bitch in the middle, she eating coochie. But whatever bitch it was, she eating coochie and she in the middle. You know, Jordan, you, Next got, question. Any, you got any questions, Jordan? Yes. I'm sorry, viewers, but you're <laughs> this bitch. This bitch came like she in the motherfucking club. I am in the Goddamn. And that's why I'm having this. Girl, how we gonna see you? I don't like to see shit. We know what type of time Jordan be on, on y'all. We know what type of time she, oh, she be on. Nasty. She glasses on. You like to swallow that? Nope. How long it's ago still gonna be in there. <laughs> how what? How long? How long ago did you fuck somebody? Oh yeah, it's been a little minute. I'm celibate for a How long? So. What's the answer? Ooh. Name the last person you fucked. Also, so oh, answer the first okay. question and then name the last person you fucked. Oh, uh, what's his name? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what is his name? Oh, ah! hold on, y'all. Let me go. My <laughs> just drink, <laughs> just fucking drink twice. Drink both no, drinks. Fuck him. <laughs> oh, it's right here my, under my social security number in my notes. Oh. Who is this? She gotta keep her liability. Oh, cannot say that one. <laughs> so we need to drink twice. <laughs> That's one drink. Twice. Because well, you didn't answer the last one. Did the last person you fuck give? When was the long? The last time you fucked, and what's their name? That's he the gave question. The head. That's he the gave question. Okay, you know what? But wait a minute. Let her drink. Let her drink her two drinks. Um. No, no, no. I'll, I'll just say it. I'll just say it. What's his name? Bill. We don't believe you, bitch. Let me see the notes. Ash, <laughs> what's the motherfucking notes? 
Oh, what's up, y'all? So I am currently um, getting ready for work. I did my makeup and stuff already. I was going to talk to y'all and do my makeup, but I don't want this vlog to be long. Like today, I plan on making this the last day um, I filmed. But I really just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all like about just some things while I do my hair. Something's in my goddamn Ooh. If y'all wondering what's that playing in the background. Uh, it's Drink Champs with Boosie. I love Boosie, y'all. Face like it's gonna fall off. It's pretty close to see. But that's why I like it. I like it like that. I like it like that. Like that. But yeah, y'all. So I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about some things. Um, just about some things that I'm trying to do this year. And like, I'm really trying to tap into just this grown woman version of myself and just really be getting my money, getting my bag, and being around people that genuinely fuck with me because I just personally always feel like I'm being used and it's not always about what you have or who you know and you know you could be being used for convenience. I feel like a convenient person for a lot of people and I don't really like that. I feel like a lot of friends that I have, they there for me when it's convenient for them. Not when it's convenient for me, you know? And I just feel like a lot of people, and not all my friends, so I don't want all my friends to think like I'm sneak dissing her. Because that's not the case. But I do have friends. Oh, I just fucked up my damn head. God damn it. Oh, no, I didn't. It's still around. But I do have friends that I feel like, and I'm not even gonna say friends no more. But I do have people in my life where I feel like they're not really fucking with me. Like, and I don't think that I've done anything. Oh, I did mess up my goddamn face. Oh my god. What? The Y'all, I done melted the damn makeup off my face. How did that even happen? I just spray, set and spray up. I guess it just, I don't know. Let it. This is all I can do for it right now. <laughs> this is literally all I can do. But yeah, I just feel like a lot of people use me for convenience. Like, if they bored, they want to hang out, or if they want somebody to do stuff with, I don't feel like. I have too many friends that like genuinely care about me and my well-being. I feel like I probably have like two and honestly just one. I feel a lot of the time like people hit me up when they want to do stuff or when they want somewhere to go or you know. But when I be going through stuff, it's like, oh, you got it, you're strong, you'll be okay. Like, I could tell you that I'm going through something and you'll never call me and like check and make sure I'm okay. Like, never go out your way to make sure I'm okay. And and that bothers me because I'm always going out my way for my fucking like, I'm gonna go out my way for my friend. And I just think personally me, I want more friends that's a friend like me. 
Like, I want to be around more people who are the same type of friend I am. You know? And I don't know. It's just really hard. And it's also hard to find friends that's like just uh, honest about how they really feel about you and it's just really hard to find friends that's like they don't mind being a rock for you and you know what I'm saying I always feel like my friends have some type of problem with me and it could be me tripping you know I never, I'm not the type of person to act off of thought because my emotions could be thrown off you know what I'm saying like I could be experiencing some type of like just tripping out or whatever so I'm not going to just say like oh that's what's happening no because I could be 100% tripping and my friends are probably praying for me and shit but I just don't feel like that like I don't feel that love like I don't feel that energy like I don't I don't feel that from my friends that I have now. Like, I just don't. I feel like people call me when they want to vent and then can proceed to talk and never ask me, like, well, how are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Or what's going on with you? Like, I don't get that. And I, I'm really tired of being people's, like, vent box or advice column. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really care for all of this. I'm tired of doing for for people. You know what I'm saying? I could be tripping though, y'all. Like no bullshit. Like I really could just be like tripping, but I just don't feel like I am. I feel like my points are very fucking valid. I feel like my points are very um true and i also feel like i'm always a friend is if i know something is happening or like opportunity is present and somebody i know could benefit off of it i'm always the one to be like oh yeah i, I know this person or i know that person and i just feel like people never do that shit for me like i most of my opportunities, I've gotten 100% of my own. Like, my friends don't recommend me for shit. Like, they don't be quick to say, oh, yeah, my friend does that. Like, and I do that for so many people, people that I, I don't even consider friends. That's just me. And I just wish I was around more people who thought like that or who wanted to be like that or who, you know, just live like that. And I'm not. And now I think that it's fucked up. Because y'all know people like envy you. And they don't even be on it. So to me, it's in ways it's like, why wouldn't you recommend me? Or why wouldn't you say, yeah, my bitch do this? Or you know what I'm saying? I just, mm -hmm. And it's just really bothering me now. Like, And it's not even about some, my hair is really dry. It's not even about some like, oh, you should be telling everybody I do this and you should be booking with me or you should be that. It's not even about that. Even though I do feel like if your friend has a business, you should be wearing your friend's shit. Like, I look at Cash Doll and Kendra. Kendra always bumping Cash Doll shit, always in her videos, always um, posting her shit. And Cash Doll only wears her best friend hair. She don't wear nobody else's hair. She only wears her best friend hair. Like, my best friends don't do that. And not even saying I'm throwing shade, but like, them bitches ain't never fucking bought my hair. And I've been selling hair for, I don't know how long. Never bought my hair at all, not once. And I just be thinking like, that's crazy. Even if you felt like, oh, your hair really not that good, or it don't look that good. Why you ain't never say that? Or why you don't feel the need to let your friend know that shit? Like, and I'm not saying, like, my friends ain't never bought shit from me. I'm not saying that at all. That could ever be a lie. But it's just, to me, certain shit. Like, if my friends selling And I just want to end this video by saying that this was literally no shade to anybody in my life. But 
this is just how I feel and my channel is used for me to express myself. So that's just me. I don't want any issues or any problems with nobody, but this these are just my views and my opinions, my experiences and my life. So with that being said, I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will make an intro and an outro. <laughs> Bye.